Johnny, I've got a brand new air rifle. Yeah. What pellet do I choose? What manufacturer, what size? If you've not bought the rifle from me, I'm going to ask you what rifle you've got. I'm going to ask you what caliber it is and also what your application is, what you're going to use it for. So if you're going to tell me you're going to be shooting vermin shooting or target shooting, really, as I've said before, it's all about accuracy and I can point you in the correct direction of what I think is the best that's out there. So a pellet that we sell most of, that a lot of people come in and ask for, it is by far and away our, our best seller, is the Air Arms Diablo Field in 177 and 22. They come in different head sizes, so this is a 4.52, they do a 4.51. One will shoot better in your rifle than t'other. And then there's the 2.2 Diablo Field, and they're in a 5.52 head. You see that on the back there. That pellet in either calibre, there's not really a rifle that I've met that they don't shoot well in. They shoot well in absolutely everything and could be pretty much guaranteed on that. Field target trophy, that's another real good one, 177 and in 2.2, great pellet. Um, the JSB exact line, they've actually got three different head sizes in 177, so we've got 4.51, 4.52 and 4.53, and again... Why um, is that important? It's, it basically, if you want to take accuracy to the next level, if you're trying to shoot one whole groups at 50 yards, your particular rifle, you may have, this is an Air Arms S410, um, come off the production line in, let's say, January of this year, it's got a batch of barrels on it. This particular rifle, with this particular barrel, is going to shoot the four five ones at 50 yards better than the other two. They're all going to shoot well, but it might just have the edge with the four five ones. You get another um, exactly the same rifle come off the production line six months later. The tool that's cut the barrels has worn a little bit more. There's a, you know, we're talking minute differences inside the barrel in terms of machining, and you might find that that second one that's come off six months later that's going to favour the four fifty threes or the 452 so there's just these variances but this is getting super super sort of in-depth really when you're looking at this sort of thing you know most of it most people that come in they're happy to shoot within you know a half an inch at 30 yards that's that's pretty good grouping and for for vermin shooters that's yeah that's pretty good pretty good going as well so it's where okay. you want to take it level wise really okay show me some of the others what have you guys got the bisley why would you choose the bisley bisley magnum right that's a heavyweight pellet so typically all the others in one this is 177 the other 177 is typically around about 8.4 grains most of these that's a heavyweight pellet so that's 10.5 grains in weight so it's substantially heavier um and, and basically a lot of people it's it bucks the wind pretty well this does with a heavy heavyweight pellet um, and also energy transfers massive on this on a bisley magnum it's pretty crazy actually when you look at plaster of Paris ballistic tests of what this can produce. But that's a re yeah, really good pellet. Energy transfer is great on that. So you've got the generalist pellet and then you've got the... The more um, specialist. Yeah. So again, like the Hades that we've just shot there with the cutouts on the head. And we just proved that point, you know, for shorter range work, the energy expansion is, is, is greater. It's producing a, a bigger hole through that wax rather than it's sort of standard round nose sister there. So you could say for you know short range work that could be a better bet as long as your accuracy is still there. That, what about the H and N? What about that? H and N, just a really another good pellet, slightly lighter in weight, fourteen point six six and two two, and they're eight point six four, so slightly heavier in one seven seven, slightly lighter than these in two two, and just a slightly shorter pellet. But again, they shoot pretty well in pretty much everything. There's uh, all these pellets that I've got out here. There's n none of these. You put them in any rifle. There's none of them that are, are, are going to be. Uh, bad pellets at all they're all really good this is what we sell most of that you see sitting here but if i've bought a brand new rifle i should really be leaving with more than one tin of pellets shouldn't i ideally yes it depends on what sort of, where you want to take it in accuracy if you want to get the best out of it then yes you want to be taking four or five tins of pellets really and and having a go with with each one um they don't do mixer pellets for some of the better brands and some of some that there are some mixer pellets out there some boxes in fact that's something i should put together really what i usually do if most people come in this is something we do is i'll just get a little bag out and i'll i'll give you 10 10 of each tin so you can just go and try them if someone's after that sort of level of accuracy then that's something that we do do but you've given me a little business idea there david a little <laughs> pellet mixer tin yeah I'm, I'm rather than rather than just give them away we could start selling them but there you go